it's not always going to be easy and it's it's hard for us right now but um you know we did a lot of good things today and found a way to win a game when it was hard and uh chappy just continuing to grind in, in brutal conditions out there and and no given and uh you know just just a, a good win considering the conditions just considering where we're at right now to grind one out there is nice you mentioned chapman he had some issues last time out you think this time around more due to those conditions as opposed to some of the other things he's uh, done? you know i don't know i think i think he was okay out there you know we kept checking with him on the mound and um you know he was better there's no question about it um i thought we saw better life on on the fastball so i thought we saw some good sliders i thought we saw him controlling the zone even though it got a little dicey there for a while so i think a step in the right direction for him and and hopefully starting to get him right back on track with how he's hit pretty much all season long what's your level of confidence when you see miguel and duhar come to the plate in a big situation yeah no, very comfortable uh you know not only is he a good hitter he's a smart hitter you know i think he does a really good job of of understanding what what clubs and pitchers are trying to do to him um i think he's really good at going up there with uh with a plan of what he wants to get done and um you know another big hit for him obviously in a big spot brendan you said you kept checking on chapman on the mound are you checking on something specific with him his back, oh, his just knee. the weather. Oh. Just, just it, you know, is there any footing issues, any grip issues, and just making sure he was comfortable out there if we needed to, you know, get the grounds crew out there or anything. Well, Steve and Dan. Dan, go ahead. Uh, this is uh, it was another tough outing for uh, Britain. Yeah. Uh, what do you see from him, and is any of it due maybe in part to pitching in a you know a different role than he's accustomed to? Um, you, you know, it's 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 a different team somewhere he's been his entire career. I think part of it is the uniqueness of the entire situation as far as coming back from the injury, not having spring training, now switching teams at the deadline, still kind of finding his way a little bit. Um, I thought in a lot of ways it was real close to being classic britain and i think the good things we're seeing is the stuff is there um you know the arm strength is there uh you know he's a slow roller from being out of there in less than 10 pitches and looking a lot like zach britain uh then the base hit but then losing the strike zone a little bit where you know just controlling that sinker you know finding that and i think that's that's something we just got to keep grinding through with him allow him to keep working through it because he's he's going to be a huge part for us going down the stretch and hopefully into october um but we got to just continue to get him comfortable and i think once he has an outing or two then it can start to snowball but the good thing is we're seeing physically the stuff is there that's made him what he's why he's been special throughout his career steve can you talk about the the lift that uh, lance has given you since his arrival yeah i mean huge he was huge in chicago you know in his first start going deep into the game and really picking us up today kind of grinding through it they they worked some deep counts on him um you know fouling a lot of pitches off so he's able only able to get through five but we were kind of set up from from a pen standpoint from there um but he's 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 a pro man he's he you know there's he, there's kind of a fearlessness to the way he goes out there and attacks um I thought his fastball was once again good today. You know, that's that's a tough lineup for him with a lot of lefties and a lot of quality lefties to go through. And again, I thought the fastball down and up, two and four seam were good. But I thought he did a good job of mixing in today. You know, he, he got some first pitch strikes, flipping in a breaking ball. That was good. But, you know, they also did a nice job of really making it hard on him to, to drive him up through, so only allowing him to to go through five but another strong outing for him and a, and a big pick me up for us steve right behind you right behind you thank you thank you i know you said you were checking with or all this about the conditions and things like that does it ever get to a point where you as the coaching staff have to step in and make the decision to bring the grounds crew out to kind of look at the mound for the betterment of chapman to kind of maybe slow things down or something like that well i mean i'm sure there's a time where we would we, we would step in there um you know and kind of leaning on him checking with dd as well you know while we're doing that and watching him seeing if he looks like he's having any issues which we didn't we didn't think he was having so you almost want to lean on the player there and the pitcher to not just shut things down and then have to start back up so um 
we felt like to the point he the the mound was a non-issue to the right yeah you talked about how Miguel has the approach he has and how smart he is at the plate how have you seen him sort of grow as this rookie year's gone on in that regard I, I think the ability to make adjustments um, look, he's he's really talented, and I think there's a level of comfort for him when he walks up to hit and gets in the box. But I think he's done a really nice job of making adjustments. So, you know, if he's at a game or two where he's been off, um, he's able to adjust. Um, he, he's, he's shown versatility with the ability to really do damage. You make a mistake with a, you know, slider, he's done a lot of damage with that. Today he gets the heater and rides it out the other way. So he's just... Um, He's versatile with what he can handle in the strike zone, and, and there's not just one way to get him out. A two left. Dellen's balked. Do you think he just maybe saw Odor at the corner of his eye? Did you talk to him after that when he came in that inning? What happened there? Um, well, yeah, we'll talk to him. Um, but, yeah, that's just a, out of the corner of his eye and not reacting properly right away. That's just a, you know where you got to see it and just step off immediately and, you know, not flinch, you know, and that's that's the challenge in that situation where, you know, you know, especially with a lefty where they're off, they're going to dance around over there. And, and that's where I think Dylan has made huge strides this year of being, being able to slow things down a little bit, get better at controlling the running game. But that was a situation where they caught him and, and, and got him to flinch. But, you know, the other thing, he comes right back at, at unfazed by it punch out comes out and and does his thing the next inning so um he's he's done a really good job i feel like of of handling any kind of adversity any kind of you know small failure and and coming right back and he did it again today dan and larry what did you think of uh walker and Wright? good Good. He, even the play, uh, was it the Gallo double? It was a while ago. Gallo hit the double. I actually thought he covered some ground and moved at it properly and almost made a really nice play. You know, I think Chu hit the ball over his right shoulder. You know, I kind of held my breath for a second. And he just, he, he looked the part, right? And, uh, yeah, I, I, thought, I thought he did well out there. So is he an option as a fill-in at least going forward there? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Heck yeah. Larry, you have a question? No, you're good. A couple in the back, and then we'll go. Let's talk about Greg Bird today. Cut me, got lost in the shuffle at two big hits or scored in the RBI, what he did today. Yeah, I mean, that's what he's capable of, and, and, and we need him, you know. He's kind of balances out our lineup when he's right. He's that on-base power presence, and uh, a couple big hits today. Just missed a couple of more, but just got to get him back and and rolling. You know, I, I thought I thought a lot of quality at bats today, and we just got to get him when he gets his pitch now to start impacting it again. That's what he was doing so well for that few week stretch in there, and and now with as well as he controls his own when he does get that pitch. Uh, hopefully, today's a, a step of him starting to do that. Okay, thank you.